College basketball terms, what are they talking about? Let's talk about the lingo used by coaches, players, and fans with a little bit of definition. Let's start with scoring. After all, you can't win a game if you don't score. No matter how it happens, the bottom line is that you get points when the ball goes into the basket. The most common score is a field goal. This is a basket score from anywhere on the court except free throws. A free throw is a bit like it sounds. The player gets the ball and is allowed to shoot from the free throw line with all players lined up and not able to move until the shot is taken. It's a shot free of interference from opposing players. A three-pointer is a field goal scored from beyond the three-point arc. And as it sounds, it's worth three points. Now let's move on to other terms besides scoring. Rebound. This is when a player grabs the ball after there has been a shot taken. They rebounded the ball. Steal. I steal the ball when my team does not have possession by taking away from the other player who does have it, or I can steal the ball by intercepting a pass that player is making to one of their other team members. Turnover. This is a simple term. The team with the ball does something to get the ball to the other team. They turn it over to the other team. Foul. A foul is a violation of the rules. The most common is that they physically contact the player who has possession of the ball. This is supposed to be a non-contact sport. A foul can be a simple turnover, or it may send a foul player to the free throw line. Traveling. This can be pretty common. Once a player travels, the other team gets the ball. Traveling occurs when the player with the ball moves both feet without the ball being bounced or, more technical, dribbled. One foot must be anchored to the floor by the player who has the ball if they have stopped running or walking while having possession of the ball. Double dribble. Dribbling is basically bouncing the ball. Only one hand can be used to dribble. If at any time two hands are on the ball and bounce, that is a double dribble and the ball is given to the opposing team. Time out. This is a short break during the game called by the team's coach to discuss strategy or maybe just to give the players a rest. Fast break. This is some of the most fun part of the game. Player gets the ball, takes it down the court running as fast as they can with the ball to try and score. These are just a few of the many terms used in men's college basketball. There are numerous other terms specific to certain strategies, offenses, defenses, and rules, and I will continue to give you those in more episodes. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or a topic you would like for me to talk about, feel free to comment below. I am Patty Davidson, and I am here to teach you how to bet money, honey.